Hey, Chris Kennedy here, your Orlando Realtor. This video, we're gonna go all around College Park so you can see exactly what it's like when you live here. We're gonna look at the different home types and then why College Park was voted the number one neighborhood in Orlando by Orlando Weekly in 2023. Along the way, we'll explore why some people may choose to live elsewhere. And then as a bonus, we're gonna look at what the future holds for College Park. There's going to be a lot of information in a short amount of time, so get ready. Let's go. College Park was established in the early 1900s amidst citrus and pineapple groves. If we fast forward to today, it stands as one of the most convenient residential areas in Central Florida. Located just north of downtown Orlando and neighboring Winter Park. College Park was constructed around several lakes, Dubstride Golf Course, and a main street through the center of town that provides all of your day-to-day -day essentials. One of the reasons that people choose to live in College Park is that it's away from the tourism commonly associated with Orlando, but it's still close enough for people to visit. College Park is incredibly convenient with proximity to multiple attractions, shopping, and restaurants, as we'll see in a moment. Additionally, it boasts reputable local schools. Notably, it's a bit more affordable compared to Winter Park, yet only a few minutes drive away. Here, you'll find a variety of home types across a range of prices. College Park is certainly not your stereotypical cookie cutter neighborhood. Within College Park, you'll find two mid-rise condominium buildings offering amenities such as fitness centers and pools. The Wellesley is one of them and it's situated right here on Edgewater Drive. And the Renaissance is seen behind me is another option and it boasts views of Lake Ivanhoe in downtown Orlando. In addition, there are a handful of two-story townhomes and apartment style condos scattered throughout College Park as well. The housing landscape in College Park is primarily characterized by single family homes. Given that College Park was one of the first established areas in Orlando, many of the homes were built in the mid 1900s. These homes are characterized by either wood frame craftsman style homes, bungalows, or block Florida ranch style homes. Notably, College Park has seen a rising number of custom and semi custom homes replacing some of the older homes. If you're searching for these properties on your preferred real estate websites, you might not come across them. This is because many of these new homes are replacing older, smaller residences that don't justify renovations from a financial standpoint. It's common that many of the teardowns and new construction residences are handled off market, like this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. It may seem obvious that I appreciate the newer homes for all of the usual reasons, but I'm also fond of the historic homes with charm and character, like those situated along Dubstrad Golf Course or those around the numerous lakes of College Park. There's Lake Concord, Lake Ivanhoe, Lake Adair, Lake Silver, and Lake Fairview. Water sports are allowed on a few of these lakes. Make sure to check out the 10 fun facts about College Park that most people don't know about. The link will be at the end of the video. If you're a parent to small children, then you'll enjoy that there are multiple parks and playgrounds throughout College Park. There's Princeton Elementary Park, there's Matthews Park, Guernsey Park, and Dartmouth Park, which has received a recent remodel in 2023, and also where a lot of the community events happen. As a parent of kids myself, it's really nice to be able to take your kids on a quick bike ride or a short golf cart ride to any of these parks and let them get all of their crazies out. Schools are often an important deciding factor for families figuring out where to live. There are two public elementary schools zoned for College Park. One is Lake Silver Elementary and the other is Princeton Elementary. The zoning for Princeton Elementary is to the east of Edgewater Drive, while the west side is zoned for Lake Silver Elementary. All of College Park is zoned for College Park Middle and Edgewater High School, and some of the most reputable private schools are situated here as well. Those include St. Charles Elementary, which feeds into Bishop Moore Catholic High School, and Lake Highland Preparatory School, which is a K-12 school and situated just outside of College Park. There are multiple, various daycare options, and I recommend getting your little one on the list earlier than later. Most of the restaurants and retail exist along Edgewater Drive, which is the main street through College Park. There are a range of dining options from local diners, very few chain restaurants, Italian, pokey, multiple pizza places, Mexican wine bars, and a few pubs. A local favorite is the Tap Room. This is the restaurant connected to the Dubstrad Golf Course. And they have a great happy hour and some of the best burgers in Orlando. Whether you're new to golf or you're about to get your pro card, it's really nice to have a very affordable golf course and driving range in your backyard or neighborhood. If you reside within a block or two of Edgewater Drive, then College Park can be classified as one of the few walkable neighborhoods in Orlando. For most residents here, there's rarely a need to drive more than a few minutes. Moreover, owning a golf cart is becoming an increasingly popular mode of transportation in College Park. As we've just observed, Publix is on the main street. If you're a bit like me and enjoy organic groceries from time to time, both Trader Joe's and Fresh Market are conveniently located 
less than 10 minutes away. Advent Health is a stone's throw from College Park, making it exceptionally convenient for those working in the medical field. Additionally, Orlando Health, located near downtown, is also in close proximity. Allow your kids to explore the sciences at the Orlando Science Center or find creative inspiration at the Orlando Museum of Art, both just a few minutes drive from College Park. When you want to venture outside of College Park for dining, shopping, or night out, then you'll find yourself within 10 to 15 minutes drive to multiple other main streets. These include Winter Park Village, which underwent a $65 million revamp in 2023, Park Avenue and Winter Park, Ivanhoe Village, Mills 50, and Baldwin Park. Additionally, downtown Orlando and Thornton Park are less than three miles away. If you're looking to catch an Orlando Magic game or concert at the Amway Center, you can easily take back streets from College Park instead of the interstate. I've shed a lot of positive light on College Park so far, and now let's consider some areas of improvement and why people may choose not to live in College Park. As you've seen, there's a wide variety of home types here. And for some, this diversity may seem too extreme. For instance, picture a brand new five bedroom, two story house standing next to a tiny older block home. Prospective buyers of this new home might worry that the neighboring property could be demolished, turning into a construction site for a year, or that the neighbors might not maintain their home to a desirable standard. While most people relish the freedom of living without a homeowner association in College Park, others prefer having one, in part because it ensures that residences maintain their yards and don't undertake eccentric exterior improvements. This is why it's crucial to drive the College Park neighborhoods and explore the streets and pockets. As you'll find, certain areas exhibit more consistency with larger, newer, or nicer homes compared to other alternatives. Local criticisms include the limited availability of quality restaurants and the lack of restaurant variety in College Park. Furthermore, there's room for improvement when it comes to the sidewalks and the building elevations along Edgewater Drive. The sidewalks in particular are a little bit too narrow when multiple people are walking by each other to make it comfortable. And this leaves very little room for outdoor dining spaces along the Strip. Much like many other places in 2023, landlords have substantially raised rents on commercial spaces, resulting in the closure or relocation of several restaurants and retail spaces along Edgewater and College Park. Which brings me to the future of College Park. As you can see, many restaurants are undergoing renovation, indicating a dynamic turnover here in the commercial space for College Park. Even more significantly, College Park has secured funding for a comprehensive transformation on Edgewater Drive, aimed at enhancing safety for pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers through the expansion of sidewalks and the addition of roundabouts. On the western edge of College Park, the packing district is undergoing a complete overhaul, replacing outdated warehouses with new luxury residences, food halls, fitness centers, breweries, and parks. You can find more information about the packing district in this linked video. This development is highly significant because it not only provides another nearby destination for locals to explore, but also has the potential to enhance overall living experience and possibly raise real estate values in College Park. Now that you've seen all around College Park, let me know in the comments, do you think it's one of the best neighborhoods in Orlando or would you choose to live somewhere else? If you'd like help navigating the real estate market here, my team and I would be honored to help you. Please give us a call. All of our contact information is in the description. And if you'd like to watch any of the videos on the neighboring communities that we mentioned, there's full videos available for you right here or here. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.